Hey guys, get level here, and today I'm gonna be demonstrating everything that is included in the core animated overlay pack that I just put up on gumroad.com slash get level. So here we are in Streamlabs OBS, and the first thing you need to know is that if you do use Streamlabs OBS as your broadcasting software, you do not need to worry because the pack will include a dot overlay file that is a specific scene collection file that you can import by going to settings, scene collections, and import overlay file. Now, when you download the overlay pack, it will be a zip file. You will need to unzip the file and then you will find all those folders right there, except for that, that specific image won't be there. Anyways, so there will be a folder called overlay file for Streamlabs OBS, and this is exactly where it will be. And that's the file that you need to find if you are using Streamlabs OBS. Now, if you're not using Streamlabs OBS or you would just like to know everything that is included as far as the assets, let's go through them. First of all, I'm going to show you what the overlay looks like. As you can see, this is the starting soon, but it might not it might not look like that when you just got it because you kind of have to populate it yourself if you're not going the dot overlay route or if you are using any other and such. So I'm going to show you the end result. This is what your overlay is supposed to look like. This is where you would put the chat. Obviously, this is supposed to be way smaller, but this is my own chat and I don't want to modify it. Let's go to the intermission. Uh, this is not a live <laughs> video. Uh, on the right side, you can see I have um, the chat. Middle side is where your face is supposed to go. And the top left is where the game will be. Um, let me turn off this little filter real quick so you can see what it will actually look like. Then I'm going to show you in game what it would look like. We have this labels bar that you can put up top. You can put it at the bottom. You can put it where, wherever you want, really. And then we have this animated camera overlay. Now, this is the narrow version. There also, there's also a wide version, but we'll see that a little bit later. Let's go to the be right back scene. So it's kind of uh, similar to the starting soon. Of course, um, the addition, the special addition here is that there is social bars on the top left. And those are customizable in the sense that if you're using Streamlabs OBS, I already added them as text. So all you have to do is basically find them inside of here and then you can double click, for example, the Instagram, you can type whatever you want here. Um, my Instagram is gale.level. Boom, you just switched it. All right, and uh, the overlay for the social bar, for example, if you don't want to have your social bar and you would like to put your logo, for example, the whole overlay is actually separate from the main animation. That means that you can turn this off completely. And now you have an empty space to put your logo if you actually want to put the game there or whatever you really want to put. And it's the same thing for the labels bar that is here. This is the block style labels bar, so it's on top of each other. So if you want to turn that off, boom it's over and then you have an empty space to put whatever it is you please okay let's turn that back on and it's the same thing for the stream ending screen uh, this is a perfect loop so you won't see when the overlay actually cuts there is also a transition included in the pack well give me a second actually i really don't like the way this chat is displaying that looks a little bit better anyways so um the sticking transition here on top of the scenes list you can go to edit scene transition and then you can select Stinger as the type, and then you will go find, remember in our four folders in animated, you will find a uh, transition. .webm. Those are webm files. And the transition point is actually 1200, about 1200. I, I believe 1000 will work, 1300 will work. It's a pretty long one. So let's see what it looks like if Streamlabs doesn't completely destroy it. So it's it plays like that. Obviously it's not super smooth because I'm recording, but Yes, this is the main thing. Now, when it comes to changing color, I know this is a big issue. Every time I put an overlay out, someone is like, oh, I don't like this color. The, the reason why I make my most of my overlay packs uh, single color, basically, this is just blue, is so that you can pick whatever color you want. If you don't like the blue, that's fine. Let's make it green, for example. Oh, you think this green is not saturated enough? Bump up the saturation. Okay, maybe, maybe not that much, but this is the goal behind it all um, you can really pick whatever color you want and make it happen now there's one thing that is an issue and it's that you cannot add filters to the transitions now what do you do when you can't add filters to the transitions uh, well you can't do anything but i got you covered because in this pack what i've included is a bunch of other transition colors so if you want your transition to be green for example 
you just pick the green one and then you switch it up. Boom, you have a green twin transition. No problems whatsoever. Another thing that I hear a lot is, hey, how do I customize my own overlay? How do I make it my own? How I don't speak English and it doesn't make sense to have like stream ending or stream starting. So let's add another scene just to test it out real quick. And uh, you will find what is an animated, a blank background. You actually have a couple of them, but a blank background, you just drag and drop scene background. And then from here, you can just type whatever you want with the text tool. You're like, how do I change the text with the text tool, you know? And go ahead, well, I'm not gonna name this, and you can type, um, and the font I actually use for this one to really make it simple and make it clean for, for you guys, I actually use the font that you should have on your computer already. You don't even need to download anything so the font is calibri and if you really want to make it look exactly like it looks in the in what i made basically you can just add a space in between each letter there you go and now you can bump this up boom like this and then you can just place it however you want i'm gonna copy and duplicate this let's put this uppercase oh it doesn't like the <laughs> doesn't like the accent that's fine boom and you can just place this here. If you want it to be blue, just double click on it and give it a slight little blue. There you go, something like that is fine. And there you go, you just successfully customized your own starting soon. Of course, you can make it smaller, you can, you know, eye it. That's fine. Okay, now let's go through everything that is actually included in the pack. So in the core overlay pack, you will find the folders, animated, overlay file for Streamlabs OBS, Photoshop, static. Okay, so animated, you will have the camera overlay that is narrow. That's the one we saw early on. Okay, so it's narrow. And then camera overlay wide, that is if you have a, you know, 16 by 9 full 1080p camera, you want it to be wide. And those are full HD, by the way. So if you want them to take the whole screen, completely fine. Also animated, as you can see. Okay, scene background, I showed you. Uh, scene intermission, that's what we have here, and those are WebM files, so those are cut out. That means that your camera actually goes behind it, okay? So you place your camera behind it, and if you want to move the camera around a little bit, just to make sure that you're in the middle, completely fine. What else do we have? We have short break, we have stream ending, we've seen that, we have transition, and we have all the color of the transitions, as you, as you have seen. <laughs> uh, overlay file for Streamlabs OBS, of course, there's our dot .overlay file. Photoshop here, you actually have, it's not supposed to be called banner, but it's a panel file. This is what will help you create your own panels if you if you want to, but nothing more. There's, there's no other project files than just for the panels. I need you guys to understand that. Okay, so when it comes to this part, you have this avatar template. So what you can do is basically place your face on whatever editing software, place that on top of it, and it will add that little border that will match the whole overlay file. This is the Twitch banner. Uh, you can customize it as you want. Is this an image? So put it in image editing software and then add your socials, add your whatever. You can even use other assets from this pack to actually customize it. Just add them on top of it. So here you have a blank um, image in case you want to do whatever with it. Um, you also have a webcam, the webcam. If your computer cannot handle the animations, you can always use just those files. Uh, here is the labels bar, labels bar blank in case you don't want them to say follower. So you can put your own text. How do you add your own text? If you're using it in their broadcasting software, just add a text. If you're using it um, as an image, just put it in any editing software or any editing website um, that goes for uh, Pixlr, that goes for Photopea, anything, even Canva, I believe. I'm not sure though. This is the labels bar for when you are in game. Okay, so I called it inline uh, labels bar. And again, you have a blank one if you want them to say other stuff. I also made one that is more non affiliate friendly. It says follower, donator, and then top donator because I know you guys can't have cheers, you can't have subscribers. Again, another labels bar for non affiliates. Uh, the, the offline image. And then here we have a second offline image. Here, the offline image to the left, it has what you can put your social media on. And in the right side, if you have a logo or whatever you wanna showcase, or most importantly, your schedule could go to the right side here. But 
um, if you don't have any of those social media or you want to put different logos or different icons, you can do this with this one with the offline image too. So that's two offline images in order for you to customize it as well as you want. That's a image version of the intermission screen. As you can see, they're cut out so you can put your game or whatever you want. Short break. Those are just basically uh, static images of the other ones. And then the social bar that you saw me use right here. There you go. Okay, so that's the social bar. And then a blank one again. And uh, that's it for the main ones. Then we're gonna go back and actually check out the panels. So those are the panels that I was talking about. Technically, you don't have to do much, but I did add a little bit of effects to the text. It has a slight gradient and a slight um, outer glow. So if you want that to happen, I give you a blank one if you don't want to go in project files or whatever. So you can just drop that and just make your own panel so that they will all match. But you know, if you want to make it look exactly like this one, I also included a Photoshop file for that. And that is, again, the only Photoshop file that you will find in this pack. There's no After Effects pack, there's no Premiere packs. I do not give out project files in most of my overlays because it, because I used to do it before and it turns out to be way more of a hassle than everything else. That basically concludes everything that will be included in the pack. As usual, if you have any questions about the pack, you can leave them in the comment section below here, but you can also join my Discord and ask there. I, I am no longer answering DMs about overlay packs or, or about anything really, so uh, my Discord is the best way the best place to ask questions about this overlay pack. Another thing that I will beg you with all my with all my heart to do is please read this the product description before you download it. And that goes for not only my products, but any products ever <laughs> on the internet. This one is not free and I'm not going to say the price because if the price changes in the future, I don't want to be called a liar or anything, but it is affordable as usual. So go get this one at gumroad.com slash guy level and um, I will see you guys next time. Go out there, make me proud, guy level, out.